What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Now I got to try out the Asus ROG Xreal R1 and these glasses were really amazing. They really impressed me in a lot of ways and I got to spend over an hour playing with them, uh, really getting a feel for the glasses. Do they slide down on my face? How do they feel? Is there eye fatigue? What kind of sweet spot visually do they have? Now, big shout out and thank you to Asus for sponsoring my trip out here to CES. But I wanna be clear that no brand controls anything that I say. These are all my own words. And if you value authenticity and honesty in your tech reviews, please consider subscribing for future videos. I got to try the Xbox Ally X in several different games and also just in the Windows interface. And I confirmed that I could run it at 240 Hertz refresh rate, but there is a huge caveat. And this is the key feature, right? Like, like these glasses are capable of doing 240 Hertz OLED 1080p. And that is amazing. It's the first glasses that can do that. And it's mind blowing that it's possible, but there's a huge caveat. And that is when you want the true native 1080p 240 Hertz resolution to be displayed. You actually have to hook it up to the control dock to be able to get that signal uh, to output properly to the glasses. And it does a 1080p 240 Hertz for one display through the cable into the glasses. And then the glasses uses the X1 chip to split that signal to both displays in your glasses. And the key here, I believe, is the USB-C and I believe DisplayPort 1.4 technology just cannot handle two separate 1080p signals at 240 hertz. They can handle 1080p at 120 hertz, but going all the way to 240 hertz for two separate monitors, I just don't know that it's actually possible. If you use the Xbox Ally X or the iPhone and you turn on the 240 hertz mode, it's gonna cut the resolution in half and then up the frame rate to a higher levels of frames. And I mean, realistically with an iPhone, there's, that's pointless. But for maybe an Xbox Ally X, you hook it up to your laptop, you hook it up to your desktop with USB-C Direct Connect, you could get to the 240 Hertz refresh rate, but then all of the clarity in the image disappears. So you pretty much have to go through that control dock if you want the full clarity and 240 Hertz to go through the glasses at the same time. It kind of sucks in that sense that it's not actually versatile. Like I would love to be able to have um, like a handheld or my gaming laptop and to be able to do 240 Hertz refresh rate gaming on the fly everywhere you go, but that's just not possible. It's pretty much a 240 Hertz only when you're docked at home or when you're out on your bed or somewhere where you can set up that control dock with HDMI inputs and DisplayPort inputs. Now on that control dock, you get two DisplayPort inputs and HDMI input and and then there's a USB-C output to the glasses and you can quick switch between those video sources and those. So that's gonna give you a nice like wide range of devices that you can hook up to the glasses. You know, through the control dock, you can hook up an Xbox, you can hook up an Apple TV, you can hook up your PC, your full desktop PC through the display port. So you get lots of options. I still think a regular gaming monitor is superior to these XR glasses. So when you're on a desk, I think you're still gonna to want to use the, just a gaming monitor. When you're on the go, that's when you'd wanna use them and then, but you can't use the two 240 hertz mode so i guess maybe you could use these if you have like a computer or something next to your bed you just plug it into that control dock and you lay down and use it honestly laying down and using xr glasses is the best visual experience because it's so relaxed and it's so easy on the hands and the eyes uh, and it's just great for watching movies, great for playing games in a relaxed environment. I just freaking love it. I've literally, like it's so easy to just spend hours and hours in your content, just having a good old time. Now, as far as stabilization is concerned, this felt just like the Xreal One Pros that I recently reviewed. Um, it felt rock solid. There was no sliding around. There was no movement and destabilization of the window. Uh, even though these are pre-production units, they're still fantastic. It was really, really great overall stabilization with no issues at all. And quite frankly, I think the lenses on these ones were better for some reason than the One Pros that I tried. Um, and I think that is maybe in combination with the new nose pieces. The new nose guards are much thicker, much beefier, and they really held the glasses up into the sweet spot perfectly like the whole hour that i tested the glasses like they did not slide down at all even though i moved around up and down like those things were locked in and i don't know maybe at some point they would hurt your nose but i don't think so like these felt just like a much more solid all around like 
comfort and ergonomics than the One Pros. The Xreal R1s just felt so much better on holding and sticking to the right spot on my face to keep the visual sweet spot just nonstop perfect. And the other thing is, even when I'm sliding the glasses around, I did not really notice any chromatic aberration happening. Like I was like, these seem clearer, these seem better, like a, a nice little step up from the Xreal One Pros in terms of overall clarity. Now, not as clear as the Luma Pros yet and not as bright and vibrant because these are only 700 nits and you know the Luma Pros are like a thousand nits. So better contrast, better brightness still in the Luma Pros. And I think the detail is also still better for the Luma Pro, but these are going to be closer and they have less visual artifacts and it's not sliding down your face. And these have great stabilization and they can go to 240 Hertz refresh rate. Um, if you hook it up to the control dock, I think there's a lot of nice advantages to the Xreal R1s and if they're the same price as the Luma Pro, the Xreal R1 is the auto buy, like it's gonna be so much better, but I don't think it will be because Asus was telling me that the quick switch dock is gonna be included with the glasses. And I was like, that's a bad idea because you know not everyone's gonna care about getting to 240 Hertz refresh rate. A lot of people are gonna be happy with the 120 Hertz refresh rate with their phone or um, Xbox handheld. And so going up to the 240 Hertz refresh rate is gonna be more of a niche thing. And so I think if the control dock ends up costing like a hundred bucks more, like they just should not add that into the cost of every single pair of glasses. Like maybe it's only 50 bucks more, but still they should try to sell that separately. So all in all, the Xreal R1 was very impressive to me and they do push the technology forward into the 240 Hertz category, which I love that. I love that. I, you know what I would rather love? I would rather love someone go to the QHD resolution, even if it's only 60 or 90 Hertz refresh rate. Overall, I really like the Asus ROG Xreal R1. These are likely to be considered the best XR glasses that you can possibly get, except for maybe the Veecher Beast, probably. But the thing is, they may not be the best XR glasses for the money, because I'm guessing these are gonna be around 700 bucks. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get more like a 650 price match to the Xreal One Pros. That would be better. And then you can get the, the control dock for a little bit more than that, a little extra add-on. I don't know what they're gonna do yet. Asus didn't know what they're gonna do yet, but I was telling them, don't bundle the control dock. At least don't force people to buy the control dock who won't need it. Now, there's also an auto transparency feature that when you anchor the display in front of you and you look away, the glasses automatically like become translucent or at least as translucent as they can be. They still like, it's still like wearing sunglasses inside, but now it's not like a black wall. Now it's just like a, a darkened wall, you know, like a normal sunglass pair in front of your eyes. So that's going to let you really, you know, like do more things. Like someone makes a noise, like your dog knocks something over. You can like look over at your dog and instantly see them without having to turn them off or lift the glasses up you know so overall i think the auto transparency feature is like a giant thumbs up and that's going to be very useful for a lot of people out there so that's it for this review of the asus rog x real r1s pretty freaking awesome but also i'm hoping the the price point will be awesome Overall, very positive impression, and they're definitely gonna be sending me a pair of these as soon as they're available, probably a, even a pre-production unit for me to do some early testing and hands-on videos. So uh, be sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on that content as well. That's it for this one. Brandon, out.